Good day for Mission Control in Houston and the International Space Station Flight Control Room. You are looking live at the view of Earth from 260 miles in altitude from external cameras on the International Space Station. We are expecting uh, the station to pass in close proximity to, not directly over, uh, Hurricane Helene as the station moves from southwest to northeast, again at an altitude of 260 statute miles in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. We'll be keeping a watchful eye uh, from those external cameras for any views we have of Helene. The latest uh, report from the National Hurricane Center indicating that Helene, which is a very large system, is moving uh, to the north-northeast at 14 miles an hour with maximum sustained winds of 105 miles an hour. Helene is gaining strength as it, as it approaches the Florida Big Bend. A large eye has become apparent in the hurricane in satellite imagery, and that feature has been gradually clearing out over the past few hours. This hurricane uh, is picking up speed and has turned slightly to the north-northeast. A noticeably faster north-northeastward motion expected through landfall, which is anticipated to occur in the Florida Big Bend region this evening. After Helene moves inland, it is forecast to track over Georgia and then slow down or stall over the Tennessee Valley when it merges with a mid to upper level low pressure system. Significant intensification is expected until Helene reaches the coast of Florida since the overall atmospheric and oceanic conditions will remain conducive. The amount of strengthening likely will depend on how much Helene's inner core can contract and consolidate. The main message from the National Hurricane Center is that Helene will likely make landfall as a large major hurricane, probably a Cat 3, possibly a Cat 4, in the Florida Big Bend this evening and uh, has advised uh, residents in the area uh, to rush to completion for all preparations in the hurricane warning area. The Hurricane Center has also emphasized that Helene is a very large system. In fact, they are comparing the system with previous hurricanes in the Gulf of Mexico over the past couple of decades. Helene is at the upper boundary in terms of its size, according to the National Hurricane Center. As a result, uh, anticipated storm surge, wind, and rainfall impacts will extend far away from its center, which is about 400 miles wide, and well outside the forecast cone, particularly on the east side of the storm. We should be, uh, and there's a good view right at the limb of the earth of the uh, eye of Helene, which is currently about 255 miles southwest of Tampa, Florida, and about 290 miles south of Apalachicola, Florida. Again, uh, Helene currently moving to the north-northeast at about 14 miles an hour, expected to make landfall along Florida's Big Bend region late tonight into the overnight hours of Friday. And a better view now of the eye of Helene. Again, uh, against the limb of the Earth, the International Space Station is uh, currently uh, passing uh, just to the east of the storm, moving from southwest to northeast, traveling five miles a second. This is the uh, best pass that we have over Helene today, accompanied by downlink video from the International Space Station. As a result, uh, we thought it would be beneficial to bring you these views in real time as uh, the International Space Station passes over the system.
tropical storm warnings uh, have been uh, put out for the entire east coast of Florida, all the way up to the uh, border of North Carolina and South Carolina. And uh, hurricane warnings have been issued uh, from the Tampa Bay area all the way uh, through the Big Bend into a large portion of the Florida Panhandle. Once again, against the limb of the Earth, Hurricane Helene from external cameras on the International Space Station. The station will pass out of range of this system within uh, the next couple of minutes. The system is uh, one of the largest systems ever to form in the Gulf of Mexico as it moves uh, in a north-northeasterly direction, expected to make landfall in the Florida Big Bend region late tonight into the overnight hours of Friday before it tracks up uh, western Georgia and uh, begins to stall over the Tennessee Valley over the weekend. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, the station has passed out of range of views of Hurricane Helene. The station will make another pass uh, with a more uh, direct overhead approach of Helene at about 1.25 p.m. Central Time, 2.25 p.m. Eastern Time. We expect to be able to record those views and provide them to be posted uh, on avail and on social media uh, shortly after they are received later today. So be on the lookout for that. But in the meantime, we'll wrap up this uh, pass of Helene in real time from the International Space Station. Keep uh, your eyes peeled to www.nasa.gov station and to social media as we uh, will continue to provide views of Helene later today during the next about five minutes worth of available uh, downlink video at that time. But we'll be flying on a more uh, direct overhead approach of this system that is expected again to make landfall late tonight or early Friday morning in the Florida Big Bend region. 
For now, stay safe out there. This is Mission Control Houston.